Hello, everybody. Happy Saturday. I think it is. Um, hang on, we're going to do this. You're going to see two ganch. Woo. Hello, people. Yes, I am wearing my toque. Um, so we are going to jump on for our Facebook Live. I'm kind of standing here in my room right now. I was all ready to go for you. And we're going to play with a fun full card. Sorry, can you tell it's a outdoor dog walking day today? Um, I hope that you guys are all able to jump on. I can't, I can see your comments. So I'm hoping that this all works again still today. So we've just tried that same stream. When you get on, would you just say hello so that I know someone is there? I'm going to do... Sometimes, oh, there I see Kristen. Hi, Kristen. Good. Okay. So I know it's working. Perfect. We are going to jump over to the card making and I will see you guys there. So there's just sex. We're going to go. There we go. So we did our, oh my God, whoop, whoop. Um, we did our virtual club today for the first time and it was amazing. It was awesome. I kind of pre sent everyone a package and then. We still, I had everyone kind of told them in advance, get these supplies out. We were dialed. It was a ton of fun. Hello, everyone. Kim, I don't know. I, I did everything we said. I shut everything down before we started. So we'll see if it has any kind of benefit. So this is a super fun, fancy fold um, that I had seen online. And this one was done by Susan Campfield. Um, it was just gorgeous. I don't know. I loved it. But I'm changing up the card. So I made another one today so that I could check out the whole card thing. Oh, you guys, yay, thank you. You wanna know more? Well, Virtual Club, I have my club girls that come to my house every month. And so it was killing me that we couldn't. So we just came up with a plan and I mailed out everyone their packages in advance. It actually worked really well, I'm not gonna lie. It was pretty cool. Okay, so here we go. What you're gonna need to start this is you're going to need a full size piece of paper. Now I'm in Canada. So Canada and the U.S. were the same. We have an eight and a half inch by 11 inch piece of cardstock. If you are other places in the world and use the A4, um, I'm not sure how this one would play out. I'm sure we could Google it somewhere online and we could kind of figure it out. So I'm having to kind of scroll. The comments are flying. Hey, Ed, you love, you love the dip. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I knew what you meant. You love the DSP. I just like to rough you up. I wish my comments would scroll. They're not scrolling, so I'm going to have to keep using my hand to scroll. So if I don't react fast enough, I apologize. Hi, Rebecca. She's like, hey. Okay, so we're going to jump on here, and I'm going to set the first thing. We're going to cut my card to be a four and a quarter by 11, okay? So then with this, this part's easy. We're going to take this, and we're just going to score it. Oops, don't use your blade. Oh, don't really don't use your blade at five and a half, okay? Boop, there we go. Where in Canada and how bad are things? Okay, so I'm in BC, so I'm in Vancouver. Uh, I'm not in Ontario. It's, apparently it's much worse in Ontario and Quebec. Uh, we've got our own whole shebang. BC is not good either. Um, I don't know. I actually, guess what I decided today? I decided that I am no longer going to watch the news and someone can just tell me when it's all over and I can come out and be normal. Can we do that? That's what I've decided on. Okay, so I've got this card base, easy? Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna basically get this whole card out of one piece of paper. This is awesome. Hello, Linda and Nanaimo. Okay, next one we're gonna do is I want you to take this one to two and a quarter inches and we're gonna chop it off, okay? And with this one, we're basically, these need to be um, all two and a quarter inches. So. There's one at four and a half, and then I'll just bring it down to, I need four of these. So four, two and a quarter inch squares. So toss them off to the side. We'll do it again. Um, and so you can just save this video after if you want to kind of know your measurements, okay? So again, chop it. So I'm going to keep that little bit there. So we've got that one at four and a half, and then we're going to go down to two and a quarter. And we're going to chop it. Okay, so that's good. Now, we've still got this long, hello, Karen. Boop, I know. Not with the mini cam. I am with the mini cam. Did you miss it? Watch this. To Ken and hello. <laughs> I just learned how to take the watermark off. Um, and I zoomed in so that you guys are nice and close to what I'm doing. Now, this next one, we're going to go to one and three eighths of an inch. Not sure why one and three eighths, but I actually, I think it works really well with what we're about to do. It gives you good stability. Okay, so we're gonna chop it off. And this is an extra bit. I don't need this, so toss it. I just did. 
Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna slide my blade up top and we're gonna get rid of it because now we're just gonna go to scoring, okay? So we are going to score at two and three quarters and five and a half. Then we're gonna do the exact same thing on this side and just score at two and three quarters. Or you could score at eight and a quarter, it would be the same thing if you kept going across. I'm just being lazy and not extending the arm. Okay, there. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this arm extends out. I just didn't feel like doing it. There we go. Okay, so I just turned it around. Oops, I got myself. Okay, so that is all of our bits that I think we have to kind of prep. I think we're good. You ready? Now I'm gonna have to scroll. I keep try. I keep trying not watch. I know. Thank God we are in Vancouver, but it is still bad here. People don't know. They don't care about the social. It is crazy. Could you make? Jane wants me to make a card that has a whole new sentiment on it. I know Jane. Can we start sending those? It would be funny. You had bits all over the floor. Get your bits up off the floor. Are we at 96 of us? I can't see how many are on. Oh, that's so fun, you guys. Thank you for telling me. Because I, the way that I'm filming, I can't actually see how many people are on anymore. You guys rock. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is this little doohinky, he's going to get accordion folded, okay? Meaning that's what he looks like, yes? Zoop, 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 zoop. And you can make that noise. It'll make you feel better. Okay, now the next thing I need you to go get, if, you are, if you're making this along with me, is you're going to need a coordinating color of cardstock for the inside and you're going to need two pieces that are four inches by five and a quarter so four inches boop, five and a quarter okay i've got two of them now what we're going to do with those is i'm actually going to do a little bit of stamping and i didn't tell my original sample but i feel like it uh is going to work really well now, hang on so what's carol saying hard time reading the measurements on the right of the blade runner well yeah it kind of garbles it a little right because you've got the the platform coming down on top of it so you get that i guess i don't really use that side very much i'm a bit weird that way so i hadn't really paid much attention to it 102 whoa dude you guys are so cute okay so we are going to grab some petal pink ink 111 you guys are comical go 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 okay so next thing i've got here is I have got this super cute swirl stamp. As I've told you before, when I'm inking things, I like them better if I put them on the edge of the block because then it's easy to ink them without getting ink everywhere else. <laughs> Anne-Marie, okay, Anne-Marie's like a god. Cracks me up. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, I don't like that side because it's got a goober on it, is right up top, I'm gonna get this on and I'm going to, okay, just like that. Now this is not on my sample one, okay? I'm gonna do it on this side too. I try. I should have. You know what? You know what would be perfect for this, my loves, is use your stamparatus, and then this would kind of be a non-issue. You can have it perfectly lined up, like up and down, as well as against the edge. I feel bad leaving. I don't care. Good. Good night. Go to bed, Marika. Carol, I used a piece of tear tape, and now I can see it. Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, yeah, it's to get your eyes to stop that weird wobble with um, the plastic, right? Okay, so here, and we're going to come in here, we're going to do the exact same thing. Now, you could decorate or not decorate these. Uh, it doesn't matter. I just kind of, I decided that I was like, oh, I really like that swirl. I wonder if it would work. And it might not work. It might look like garbage. And then we'll know. And I don't care. That must be a problem. Your paper trimmer doesn't make the boot noises. <laughs> what stamps are we using tonight? Oh, it's because I probably didn't tell you. Cam, it's not you missing it. It's me. This is good morning, Magnolia. And I feel like you need to sing it. Good morning. No, that's good morning, Vietnam. Forget it. Good morning, Magnolia does not have quite the same ring. Okay, so we're going to take that. I'm going to close up my ink pad. The corner, yes. You're actually supposed to use. I know, Emery, when I get like stamping major things, I always use it. But when I'm doing something for myself, I tend to forget about it. Okay, so first thing we're going to do here is we're going to take these. And we are going to excessively snail them inside of our card. You got it, people? Just like that. Easy? Coming in late. Hello. Hello, Cor. Okay, we're going to do another one here. Corey, I was 15 minutes. No, I think it was like a half hour later than I planned. I was going to do it at 7. And then I got, you know, distracted by something shiny in my house. Hey, for those of you who were looking for me last night, I did not make it on. I had a full-blown meltdown yesterday. And 
Corey said to me, it's okay to not do one tonight. It was not that I didn't want to. It was like, I don't, I think people will think I'm crazy. Oh, there's a sound delay again. Okay, so let's try something. Let's go here. Hello. And then let's try cutting back. I didn't swoosh. Does that set come with a die? I can't fussy cut. Yeah, it does come with a die. Your schools have been closed to me. I know the whole thing is absolutely loony toony. Okay, so now I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna stick snail, follow me. You see that? It's on there. Some of you may have seen this fold already online. It's kind of been everywhere. And I was like, oh, I need to do that. I wanna try it. Now, this is the really important part. When you stick this on, I don't want you to line it up with the black cardstock. I want you to line it up with the edge of your, like in this case, the petal pink, okay? So whatever your kind of accent color is. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing over here. So we're gonna take him. Now, I, what I did here was I just kind of um, booped it up in the middle, but I really wanted to make sure that I was keeping it the paper straight. Okay, so got that. Now watch this. See that? Everybody see it? Kind of go cool. Okay, next step. What we're going to do next is we've got those four black squares that we cut that were all two and a quarter inches. Yes? I'm hoping I've got you on me. I do. Okay, good. I was like, oh, good Lord. What are we looking at? So first ones, you can just nail the whole thing. This is like non-issue. I'm going to come drop it right in here. Make sure it's kind of centered. And we're going to snail that one down. We're going to do the exact same thing. Hello, Bridge. How are you? I was just telling them this is what we did for a virtual club today. We decided we are now holding virtual clubs. So I literally mailed them all their make and take packs. Then we ran club online. So I did, we had a private group. We did a little Facebook in. It was fun. It was an hour and a half of Facebook lives. Hey, Joe, I gave you guys a link. Go to, yes, but I'm doing a different design this time. So Joe, if you go to our virtual club page, hon, I put um, a link to the PDF with all the measurements, okay? Okay, so we're gonna come in here. Anyway, so yes, we had an hour and a half of Facebook Live today. It was awesome, awesome sauce. Okay, so I'm gonna glue that one down. Did you notice that I did not stick snail all over the back? I stuck just to the middle because I don't want it to stick down and then keep my card from opening. Okay, I'm just centering them and then maybe that. Okay, now you can go like this, moosh it because mooshing it is super good for it. Okay, now this one's kind of fun. Actually, let's work backwards on the sentiment. So I have cut a piece of Whisper White. Again, this one is four by five and a quarter, no different. And this piece of coordinating designer series paper is one by five and a quarter, okay? We did, we did have so much fun. Okay, so all I'm gonna do with this, so we're going to take this and we're going to snail this one down. So you guys, it's kind of, I'm like deconstructing my card. You're going to see bits go backwards and forwards and all over the joint. Okay, grab, I'm using Memento Ink in this case. And then I picked this sentiment because it was so perfect. It says the journey of life is best shared with a friend. We'll get through this together. It should add from a distance. Okay, so we got that stuck on there, okay? Awesome, so I've got my little sentiment in. Now, uh, is sound still super wonky? Like, is it making you all crazy? Did it improve when I did the switching back and forth? I feel like I'm gonna need to do a little bit more researching. We had it happen today, but it was because my parents called mid Facebook Live, and so it did it on me again with a phone call. You having a sound delay, you've restarted and gone off. It could be on my end, Core. So basically, you're seeing me do things, but then I'm saying it slightly afterward. The backwards bits are the best. I am going to have to play with this. It's so frustrating because it's such a cool program, and it's obviously something I've done. I'm getting sound delay as well. Do you guys want me to close it and just go off of this program and re-pick up? And Joanne says hers is fine. So weird. Okay, so there we go. We've got that much. I'm going to keep going. It's off by a couple seconds. Okay, now I think someone said, oh, I can't change it because I'm in it right now. Okay, I can't do anything on the side. Still out of sync, it didn't improve. Okay, um, so I'm not gonna go out, I'll finish it. And if it's torturing you, I'm so sorry. I will play around with it again for tomorrow and see if I can improve it. Um, what we're gonna grab next is we are gonna grab 
my big shot. You notice it when I'm using snail. <laughs> Because the sound's not matching up. You're like, uh, Edge, we got a problem here. Houston, we have a problem. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we have got the coordinating embossing folder. Okay, loves? And so I'm going to take this, and I'm going to, st I just have to decide which way my paper's going. No, not that way. I want to go this way. And I'll look at the front to make sure it's what I want. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to get this kind of part of my um, paper. I want those flowers. I'm going to stick my blue plate on top, nothing else in between. Doo -doo. And then while we've got the big shot out, we'll do a little bit more die cutting. Okay, so we've got that piece. We're going to keep that bit off to the side. I need a white, did I bring out white scraps? I thought I did. Okay, I've got the vellum. Let's do that next. Okay, so with the vellum, you know our sweetly stitched dies? We're going to go with the bigger sweetly stitched, sweet, sweetly, it's sweetly switched. Can you talk? I can't. Good. So we're going to go with this one and we're going to crank this one through. He has another show. Okay, Kim, I totally will. I, can you tell him how much I appreciate this? Because honestly, my hubby can do anything. Like seriously, anything. The man is amazing, um, but he can't run tech support for me. So that would be phenomenal. Thank you. Okay, and then while we're here, we're also going to die cut. Did I already die cut that? I did. Okay, I'm going to keep it with my bits. Then we're going to come in here, and I'm going to take this one out, and I'm going to die cut this die from that same set, and I'm just using some petal pink. Crank it. Oop. Don't wiggle it around too much. Yeah, if you could see me talking, dealing with... Her Royal Highness incredibly high maintenance tonight. Okay, so we got that. Remove this piece. Babe? Sean? Husband? Oh, he can't hear me. Or he's pretending not to. I think that's what he's doing. He still actually can't hear me. It's just that, you know, if I don't look. Do you ever do that? Avoid eye contact. Okay, so we're going to come in here. I love this DSP because you can die cut straight out of it. So I could uh, stamp these and I could color them. Or I could be lazy like I am. I just came back into sync. Isn't that so weird? Okay. I was hoping because I ran the program through ManyCam last time, and this time I'm actually running it through Facebook, so I was doing it a bit differently, and I was like, oh, maybe that'll catch it. That's what I was doing wrong. You know when you're convinced in your head you figured it out? Yeah. Let's not give myself that much credit. Okay, we're going to jump back in here. And we're going to, a little too close to the big shot, yeah. I'm not going to play with the camera though while I'm doing these, so I'm sorry you're going to, it's basically if you can see what I've die cut, you should be all good. And then I'll move that big shot out of the way, you guys. Okay, so let's take that one out. Next thing we need to do is on here, oh, I need to look at, where's my sample card? I lost it. There it goes. Okay, on my sample card, so that's what I need. I need to find more of this designer series paper. Give me one second. I know I put my package down. There it is. Do I have more of that designer series paper? Oh, I do. Good. I've got another package ready to go here. Avoid eye contact. My husband knows that well. Okay, so on this one, what we're going to do is we oh, we did those two and a quarter inch uh, basic black squares. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to do... Um, two two inch DSP squares there and there okay we got those that's perfect and then I know I need another one I need a whisper white one it's just a sec so we're going to take this right now and I'm going to take these before I forget what I'm doing with them and get lost and you know something shiny we're going to put these down on my outer two Dude. There we go, dude. You'll have to watch it again. I know it was kind of fun, eh? It's all there. I talk about it all at the beginning and I like give you the measurements. You can like do a step and then hit pause, and then do a step and then hit pause. Okay, now this one I'm actually gonna go with the stripes. Oops, and apparently I'm going to add that's lovely, a piece of my hair. That's disgusting. Sorry you guys. Okay, go in here. I'm just gonna snail. That one down in there. Now, I do need some whisper white paper. Just a sec. 
Or is it? Ooh, you could be big enough. Just a second. Is this one two inches? It is. Okay, we'll grab the little trimmer here. And we're going to take this one and we're just going to go like that. I know in the album, but you didn't get the magnolias. Okay, that's not odd. We've all kind of got our own preferences. I'm not, I'm not generally a flower girl. I tend to avoid flowers, but um, for some reason, these ones did speak to me. I'm like, I can do these. Now, again, we're going to just jump back in here with one more little bit of stamping, or we would if I could see my memento ink. There it is. Okay, now this one says thinking of you. So the sentiment's kind of working backwards. I'll read it all kind of nicely at the end. Okay, so this one's gonna go just down in that bottom corner, just like that, okay? I'm gonna give that one um, a second just to kind of dry. While that one is drying, not that it takes any longer than about 0.8 of a second, I need to find one more dye that I appear to have lost. Oh, dear dye. Dear dye, oh, there you are, it's underneath my paper. Okay, so I'm gonna take this dye and this one, and I'm not gonna drag you back into the shot for this, because I know that big shot is quite close to you. So what we're gonna do for these is I'm gonna die cut both of those in Whisper White, okay? Oh, you guys are so sweet. Stamping up loves flowers, therefore so do I. Alexis, hello, my girl. Alexis, I've been thinking about you. You know, everyone's, I, I saw what you were saying about being in your house alone. And yeah, I agree with you. I mean, yes, I'm not gonna lie when I say that my teenagers are making me a little loony, but I have someone to talk to. I get that. And my dogs, I think I'm making my dogs loony. Okay, so I die cut that vellum one. We got that. There's quite a bit to this card, you guys. So sorry, if someone's trying to go to bed, I'm dragging on. Okay. So jump on here, and then the next thing we're going to do, Alexis and I danced together as kids. Do you remember that? Like, I look back on those days, and I'm like, oh, good old days. Okay, so here, I'm being super lazy. You can use your fine tip blue pen. You can use anything else but what I'm doing. This is purely out of laziness and me just trying to speed up the video. So I just stuck some snail on there, and I'm going to stick these two together just like that okay then on the back of this one we are going to grab oh yeah I have to stick dimensionals on this card's gonna be really poofy people this one might cost me a dollar ninety to mail it's gonna have some serious layers to it okay so we're gonna stick that one right on there then we're gonna take that thinking of you that we did okay grab it now here, I'm not going to pop up this flower, and this is because we don't need this to have to get mailed as a parcel at the rate that I am going, okay? It's almost, a, I know. Okay, so with this one, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take it, I'm gonna put snail on the bottom end of it, just so that I can stick him on like that, okay? You see in this, whoop, whoop, kind of fun. Okay, now on the back, because I felt like the back did not look quite finished, and this is actually the back of the card, you can write back here. This is where you would write. Because someone's like, where do you write on this card? There. But, because it's me, and I don't like to write a ton, oh, make sure your snail is not, there you go, sticking out. I thought that that was like the perfect kind of little finishing touch on the back. Okay, so now we're gonna move to the front. Now, what we did do with the front Oh shoot, I did it in the wrong color. Okay, I don't want this. So see, we did this in Whisper White. That's not what I wanted. I need petal pink, just a second. Now I have like eight of those. I've done it so many times. Okay, so what we're gonna do is that folder that I um, ran it through before, I'm gonna do the exact same one now, okay? Sorry about that. I don't know how I... I knew what I was doing on that and then somehow I just kind of changed gears part way through. So exactly the same one we used before. I'm not going to make you watch it, but again, like I said, blue plate with that one and it's just on your base. No other kind of bits in your platform. Okay. Ta -da! All embossed and gorgeous. Okay, loves. So next thing you are going to do, hello, hot stuff. You guys are so sweet, thank you. Okay, so now this next one, I can't even remember what I did. Oh yeah, you have to do the work on this before you glue it down. So first thing that we're gonna do is we have got 
get rid of that one because we're not using it. We've got this whisper white one. Now what I'm going to stamp on this one is I'm just going to stamp the hello. These are all my stamps I'm using are from the Good Morning Magnolia set. Okay, now I just need to look at my front of my card because I want to change this a bit. I wanted to take this over. I think I'm going to take it this way and you'll understand more once I do the next part. Okay, so we're going to center it just kind of over on the side there. You agree with me also? What are you all agreeing on? I totally missed it. What's everyone saying? You agree. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we are going to grab, I'm going to use a hole punch, and I'm going to use a hole punch on my vellum. This gets a little bit dubious because it is actually quite easy to tear vellum when you're doing what I intend to do with this. So I'm going to do it and then I'm going to be gentle. And I did get a little tear in my last one, and who cares? Nobody can see it. All I can see is that you all agreed with each other, but I don't know what you're agreeing with each other on. <laughs> okay, so we've got this one. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my ribbon fed through before I start attaching my other bits. So I have just our, that your videos are a lifesaver. Oh, you're so sweet. So I've got the basic black, okay? And so what I'm going to do with this is it's going to, and I'm going to make it kind of nice and small, Hello, Joey. I'm going to feed it in from this side. Okay, take it easy. You're not trying, I am going to rip it. I know I am because I'm already pulling so hard right now because I'm panicking about making you wait for me and I'm far more patient. Oh, who am I kidding? No, I'm not. I was going to say when I'm by myself, but I'm not. I'm lying. I'm not actually patient. I rush things. I'm a rusher. Okay. You, just you, Ange. You're so sweet. Okay, so here, and then this one is going to pop back through. Does that make sense? Again through. Oh, don't rip, don't rip. Stay with me. Work it. Okay, and we just got to get him flat because we don't want to have weird lumpy bits at the back. I just heard myself say that. Okay, no weird lumpy bits at the back, people. Keep the lumps out of the back. Um, mind you, after this quarantine, I don't think anybody is keeping the lumps out of the back. Would you agree? Okay, so next thing we're going to do is this is actually going to get dimensionals put on it now. So I'm going to go, boop, and another one. And then this is going to get stuck down over on this side. And you're like, oh, that's ugly. What are you doing? We're going to cover it up. Don't worry. Okay, so that's all good. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take that around the other side, and then this one's going to come up. I am going to chop it off before I start working because I don't want to use that roll. Lumps in the back. I know. We call it moving with a purpose. Okay, so now we're going to come back in here, and this is where it gets a little bit hairy, people. So we're going to feed that little corner. I always cut on an angle because then it gives me something to grab. Okay, so I'm going to work this one through gently because, again, like I said, the vellum will tear. There, keep it coming. Keep it coming. Now, before you go securing it, make sure that you've pulled all the ribbons slack through. You don't want it to be loosey-goosey. You don't want it loosey-goosey in the back. Hear that, people? No loosey-goosey in the back. I feel like I'm kind of loosey-goosey in the back. Just a sec but I am starting to rip my vellum, so I need to go easy. Okay, so next step, we got there. I think you were slowing down and now it's frozen. Is it frozen? Tell me if I'm frozen for all of you. You're sitting in your craft room. I'm gonna cry if I'm frozen, we're so almost there. Okay, so now, we're going to just to give it, you don't have to knot this one. What are we all talking about? I don't know. They're talking about, they like to do this to me. They know they wait on my end till I'm looking away and they know I can't look up Christine. And then they start on some topic and then I try and catch up. I'm like, I don't get it. I feel like the kid who missed the inside joke. Okay. So we're going to take this and we're going to pop it up. That, uh, da. Ta -da. Okay, good. It's not frozen for anyone else. Okay. And it's not good that it's frozen for you. I don't want that for you either. I'm back. Okay, good. It was buffering a bit. I think that the internet's having a hard time keeping up with all of us right now. Okay, we're going to just stick that down. Now, this part is going to get a little bit of humorous because we do have to stick snail 
on a lumpy. Oh, no, I didn't stick snail in. Ha, huh, that's why. That's why I didn't have to worry about it. Okay, I lied. I stuck dimensionals on my original one. That's what I'm going to do because it'll hold everything better anyway than the lumpy bits we got going on the back here. Hello, Jean. So you paused and then restarted. Now I froze for a couple seconds. Oh, getting jumpy and froze. I don't know. Maybe my whole family. Nobody's online. Well, I can't guarantee that. Who am I kidding? Okay, come in here. I'm going to stick that one down. All right, am I back? Talking about you being loosey-goosey in the back. Oh, <laughs> well, we were talking about the bits on the card. It always goes south, Chris. Come on, you know me. It does never stay the way it's supposed to. Okay, now we have to do some fussy cutting. And the reason we're doing fussy cutting is I liked the look of these on here. Now, is this a piece that I fussy cut from? Really? That's what I chose? No, it was this one. Okay, good. I was like, that doesn't look right. Okay, so what we're going to do now... And some of you might not like me for this, but there's so many gorgeous flowers in this designer series paper that I was like, okay, I'm going to play with some of them. Now I'm going to do a little hacking for a sec. Just chop this out because he's much easier to work with. Oh, don't cut the leaves off because I want to use those um, when he's not kind of in there. You love how I did the sentiment. Thank you. You guys are so sweet. But again, like I said, I'll show you the actual card of Susan Campfield's that I got this whole design from. And she has an amazing tutorial kind of explaining how one would make one of these cards and it's super easy to follow. So Susan, and then the last name was Camp, C-A-M-P, and then Field, F-I-E-L, F-I-E-L-D, sorry, stop spelling. Cause I was cutting and you can't spell and cut at the same time, people. Your postal service is gonna love her. I know, they're gonna be like, wow, cha-ching. Mind you, they don't want you anywhere near them right now. She's like, I'll take your word for it. Stick a stamp on it. They're not going to send it back right now. I'm like, okay. Okay, so I'm doing these because I wanted some flowers for the front. Um, I can't use you because I cut that weird. Okay, and then I'm going to do... I don't really like that flower. That's not the flower I want. Just a second. We're going to see if I have more of the flower I want. I'm grabbing my package of DSP. And then which one did I use? I used it's from this. It's on the back of you. Mm, I don't see any more of the pretty one I used. What's on the back of you? It's green stripes. Oh, here's another piece of green stripes. Let's check. I uh, still don't see any more of the one I like. We'll do one more try. I'm just checking. Okay, well then maybe maybe I will just be patient and use something different. I don't do well with change. Anyone surprised there? No, no, we're not. Um, I really don't like these ones because now it doesn't make sense where I put my thing. Okay, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to put you on with a dimensional dupe. And then I was supposed to have this cute little wrappy one down at the bottom, but I don't have any of the wrappy ones on here. And that is just not cool. Um, okay, maybe I'll take one of you. Out too. I'm totally fighting with the paper right now. And the paper's winning, just so you're aware. Dinner is done in your back. Fluffy card's the best card ever. She sends a lot and knows what to go. Yeah, do a lot of mailing. I, you know what's actually sad? The post office, at, especially the one in Vancouver, actually I shouldn't say that, the one here too, they know Sean by name. Because I'll do all my stuff at night and I'll get everything all packaged and whatever. And I'll be like, okay, you know, you stick these ones in the bag. These are all going to be $1.94 stamps, but I'm out. So I'm going to, you know. And so Sean goes in. Sean and Sheila, they are on first name basis at the post office in North Van. Sheila is going to be missing me or not. Okay, there. I'll take this little one. We're almost done, guys. Sorry. I totally got uh, wrapped up in cutting out a flower. Boop, boop. And then I'll show you Susan's and then we'll get off. You're going to go to bed. That's your job. You love petal pink and black. Can I see the back of that DSP? Yeah, the back of the one I'm using right now has got that on it. It's just that. Coming in here. So if someone doesn't have a die cutting machine or, you know, you can totally pull this card off. You do not need a die cutting machine. You absolutely could have cut out of the designer series paper. 
for all of these flower bits. And then that front where I embossed the back, there's really pretty, you could use that striped DSP that was in the package too, right? You don't have to have a die cutting machine to pull all these things off. Boop, boop, boop. There we go, got it, done, okay. And then this one, yes, that's what I'm gonna do. And then we're gonna slap some dimensionals on it and we're gonna call it done. I can't believe how long have we been on? Oh, 34 minutes, that's actually not bad for such a detailed card. Okay, so just a sec, we need rhinestones. I think my poor husband is stalling on turning on the television because I'm on. Honey, you don't have to stall. They will understand. This is, I'm, hi, Ava, I'm good, love. Your grandmother lived in North, where in North Ham was she, Chris? One. And uh, two. And we'll take one more little one. Bussy cutting. I know, that was exactly it. Do you remember? I remember when the big shot came in, I was like, woo, woo. Okay, so here is. This was the one that I did earlier today. See what I mean? Wasn't that a good flower, but I didn't like where my sentiment was. And then, watch. So tonight we added in those little swirls, top and bottom. Yes, love it, love it, love it. And then I kept the back the same. So if you look, your sentiments say, hello, thinking of you. And then the journey of life is best shared with a friend. We'll get through this together, which I thought was so adorable. Love it. Okay, so there you go, my dears. I hope you have an amazing evening. I know I said that I would show you. Just a second, I'll pop back to me for the last part. You ready? With me and my toque. Boop, I'm going to sit down. My cards, my speech is not going to match up, I'm sure. So I'll cover my mouth, and that way it doesn't matter. So this was Susan's. Whoop. Oh, wrong way. there and there okay and so instead we well we did hers and then we went whoop, whoop. sky says hi <gasps> leah tell sky i said hello oh that makes me melt you were making cards okay so the measurements, as I said, Jojo, if you go and Google uh, Susan Camp Field, C-A-M-P, don't watch my mouth, C-A-M-P-F-I-E-L-D. This way, if it's not matching up, it doesn't matter. I'm going to be like Wilson from that TV show. Um, Google Susan Campfield, and then you can uh, get her tutorial that she's done online. No, I'm not going to type everything out on this one. Uh, no, not not on our West Coast creator. Susan Campfield's actually a demo in the States, but she does have a whole big thing posted on it. So I'm not going to retype this one out because it's all there online. Have an awesome evening, guys. Thanks so much for joining me and I will see you all tomorrow.